Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Oh, thank you. As you can Good see, enough. these are the products our clients are pushing for the holidays. And it's up to you to make sure they're under every tree in town. The Joneses takes America's lust for the hottest gadgets and goodies and turns it on its head. But parents, this high concept satire of consumerism has very few role models. In fact, it has plenty of bad behavior, including drunk driving, underage sex, and drug use. And although The Joneses tries to expose how people are manipulated by marketers, the film itself is an orgy of high-end name brands. The Joneses are a picture-perfect family of four who move into an upscale neighborhood. Demi Moore and David Duchovny star as parents of two teenagers. What the neighbors don't know is that this seemingly perfect group is not really a family. They're actually undercover marketers whose job it is to encourage others to keep up with the Joneses. In other words, to want what they have and buy it. You know, you were a great car salesman. People trusted you and they liked you. So they bought what you were selling. But you're not selling things anymore. To succeed here, you can't just sell things. You're here to sell a lifestyle. The film spills over with designer labels, logos, and consumer goods attractively displayed by the fake family. It's all in the name of revealing our cultural obsession with status symbols, but made alluring nonetheless. Many things in this movie are troubling, especially the behavior of the teenaged characters. The daughter has sex with older men, though little is seen, and teens smoke pot, take diet pills, and curse incessantly. If you really wanted to work hard, you could use the movie to set up some good conversations about consumerism and peer pressure. However, due to the strong language and sexual content, Common Sense says The Joneses is really an iffy choice for teens ages 16 and up. For more reviews and advice, visit us at commonsense.org. I'm Lori Burke.